This morning we're getting our first close-up look at Pluto. The NASA spacecraft New Horizons took these photos of the dwarf planet. There will be many more to come as the probe flies past Pluto tomorrow morning at more than 30,000 miles per hour. Elaine Keanu of our digital network CBSN is here with a look at this first-of-its-kind mission. Good morning. This flyby is a rare feat, and New Horizons is expected to get within 7,800 miles of Pluto's orbit. Scientists know very little about Pluto's surface, but a team at the Johns Hopkins University Applied Physics Lab in Laurel, Maryland, will soon find out. NASA's New Horizons probe has been flying for more than nine years to get this close to Pluto. It's nearly three billion miles from Earth. New Horizons is the size of a piano and is fitted with highly sensitive cameras. Traveling in a region called the Kuiper Belt, another first for a spacecraft, it will take photos of Pluto, which is only 1,400 miles wide, about half the width of the United States. They've really got to thread a cosmic needle. When it gets to Pluto to make all the science work, it has to fly through an imaginary box 60 miles by 90 miles on a side, and it has to hit that within 100 seconds. Since its launch in 2006, spacecraft New Horizons has traveled nearly 1 million miles every day. To put that distance into perspective, imagine the sun is the size of a quarter placed on the goal line of a football field. Earth would be three yards away. Pluto would stretch 18 yards beyond the far goal line. Before this mission, we only knew it as a, as a point of light and a blurry image from the Hubble Space Telescope. Tom Krimigis now, has been with NASA since 1965. Uh, there is nothing like seeing essentially a brand new object right in front of your eyes. And, and, and it was shrouded in a, in a big cloud of mystery before. New Horizons 7 instruments will map Pluto and its five moons to analyze their surface. This is the last chance to do something like this. It's the last body at the very edge of the solar system uh, that we're going to be flying by in anybody's lifetime. When it's done with Pluto, New Horizons will continue its mission, flying past at least one more Kuiper Belt object in 2019 before heading out into interstellar space. Gail? Oh, all right. Thank you, Elaine.